Hi guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World on YouTube. My name is Daniel Rosal. On this channel, I upload my tech videos with a particular focus on Ubuntu Linux. So today was a uh, exciting day because I got my license in the mail for DaVinci Resolve's premium version and I'm running it here natively on Ubuntu. Now, I've done a few videos about the various ways to transcode MP4s, if that's what your camera produces, to be able to use them in Ubuntu. The crux of the problem is that DaVinci Resolve, whether the free version or the paid version, and this is the paid version that I have up on my screen here, it doesn't support uh, the AAC audio codec. So I bunched a couple of video files in this um, folder here, and we're going to be transcoding them today. Now you can see that we have video, but there is no audio. Um, in the metadata tab on the right within the clips, you can see the video codec, and the, and the audio codec. The video codec here is H.264, which is fine, you can see the video, but the audio codec is AAC, which is why we do not have any audio when we're looking in DaVinci. So in order to, I mean, there's a few ways around this. I've explained you can use Caden Live for transcoding. You can use Shutter Encoder, but it's gonna give you much bigger files. Um, here's another, yet another method that I have discovered and I've just been focused for the last like couple of hours on solving this problem. So I'm kind of showing a few methods as I, as, as I find them basically. This is a program called Video Mass and I had to add a PPA to get it into my system, but now it's working just fine. And the good thing about this or the advantage of this rather is that I'm not transcoding the video codec. So if I go into my test videos file, you can see these are 24, 24, 25 megabytes and 17 megabytes. But when I run them through Shutter Encoder, they increase by size about 10 times, which, which is fine if you have the space, but, uh, and that's because MP4 is very compressed. And when you're decompressing them into DNX HD, you're gonna get that increase. But another way, another thing we can do is try to preserve the compression on the video while transcoding just the audio into something that will play play nice with DaVinci for Ubuntu. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Uh, basically, it's a drag and drop user interface. So I just, I'm gonna just take these out of my queue. And uh, basically, I'm just gonna take my two clips here and I'm just going to drag and drop into uh, video mass. Okay, the next thing you want to do, it's got this nice little kind of arrow interface. And this is basically just a graphical user interface, a GUI for FFMP, FFMPEG. So if you prefer CLIs and commands, go for it. If you like the convenience of a GUI, I tend to like the convenience of a GUI. Uh, this will do the trick. Okay, so I'm gonna go on to the next thing. Now for the video encoder, I did not touch anything. The codec um, it gave me was X264, and I've just tried this on the files and it worked. Um, there are other options, but I'm gonna just go for X264. And then in audio, this is where you want to uh, to make your changes. So by default, this thing was set to auto, auto, and that's going to preserve the original audio codec, which was AAC, but you can select a different audio codec. So you can go for FLAC, Vorbis, Opus, but PCM is the same as WAV and should be totally uncompressed audio. To reiterate, video, leave the same. Audio, change from auto to PCM. We can now move ahead in the menu. And now we are ready to convert. So there's a button here for convert using FFFMPEG. Click on that and this is going to initiate our job. Click on okay. And this process go is going to take, um, right, as you can see, 40%, 50%. I will keep reading the percentages as this happens. And now we're finished and we're gonna, we have the message here for successfully completed. And we've actually uh, compressed these video files a little bit, but to me, it looks like the audio is, or the quality is being preserved and they've gone from a 25 uh, megabytes to seven and 17 to five. So I'm going to minimize this. Now, again, I don't know if there was some lost quality for the moment, I'm just looking for basic encoding. Um, you could play around with these codecs, uh, the video codec to go for something that um, doesn't uh, preserves it better, but I'm just a beginner at this and just looking for 
uh, getting it into DaVinci for the moment. So I'm going to minimize that. And now we can see in our clip in, we have the MP4s and we have the M MKVs. And when I hover over the MKVs, we have the sound that was missing in the MP4s. And uh, I'm going to just add this one into my media pool. And I'm going to uh, drop this into my editing timeline. And just to confirm, we have the audio waveform as well as the video. So hence, we can now work with this in Kdenlive. Live. And again, this is DaVinci Resolve um, Studio, specifically uh, 18.1.2 build 5. And I'm running this on the latest uh, LTS version of Ubuntu. Hope that was useful. If you're looking to uh, get your videos into, um, into DaVinci on Ubuntu, you do need to go through this intermediate transcoding process, no matter how you choose to skin that particular cat. Uh, but this is one way of doing that, that uh, will get you away from having to use FF FMPEG uh, scripting or the command line, just using this utility, which again is called the video, video mass. Thanks for watching. Hope this is useful.